So hello and welcome to another behind the scenes uh, of a scare maze. So I did this last year. I showed you like a little brief sort of day in the life of setting up a scare maze. Um, so we've got about an hour before the actors turn up and then about two to three hours before the first lot of guests start coming in. So I've just basically been round, um, just repaired a few things, just sort of made things that tight again, they get knocked around. Um, I'll be doing the lighting very shortly, so going around placing all the lights out. I'll show you, so we've got these big spotlights. Let me get one out. So them things, they're massive, they go out the front of the house. Um, and then we've got, I'll show you these little ones. So we've got these little lights that go everywhere else basically. So yeah, they're really good lights, they're really bright or as bright as you want to get them. Um, and you can just put them anywhere and they last, like they'll probably last as two nights per charge. We charge them every night, but you know, if we accidentally left one out, it wouldn't matter. So I'll give you a quick walk around and some rough information of what we've got in here. I won't show you everywhere because I just haven't got time to take you around at the minute. Um, but I thought I'd do a little video. You know, some of you guys are interested, we're interested in the last one. So I thought, why not let's do this one. So let's have a little walk around and I'll show you a couple of things. So here we have the cell area. So turn the light on. So this is where people walk down through the cells. Um, we're using the interview rooms this time. So we've got inter room, in, interview room five. Is there a light? Yeah, I think there is. So obviously these will be lit in a certain way, but this is where the guests come in. And then there's someone in that other side. Um, that's a drag queen. Drag queen inmate that's in there. So they're sat in here and then they basically, I don't know where the light switch is for this one. Uh, that? No, it's not for that. Basically the drag queen sits in here, talks to people through there and then sort of comes out here and greets all the, all the guests as they're coming through. We've got the actual cells, which are these ones here. So we use these two. Um, this year, so we've got the torture cell, which is creepy as hell. We've got some torture equipment down there that the actor does a fantastic job, Tristan. He is absolutely amazing. Always does a smashing job. So there's the little homage to pure horror up there that was from a few years ago. But that's one of the cells. And the other cell is, uh, this doesn't have a torture chair in it, but the actor does some interesting stuff in there. Well, we've got like some pop bangers and, you know, different strobe light effects. And yeah, again, the actor does a fantastic job in there. Um, out there is the blindfold course. I won't go that way because, yeah. Um, so yeah, the blindfold course, and then they come back inside and then I'll take you round where they come back in the building. So basically they come back in the building through here um, I'll show you out here actually while I'm here. So the blindfold course comes through here, around here, and then through this door. Then this is an, this is the other way out, this is the exit. So we've got a big mincer, which has some lights in it, which looks really cool, with dead body over there. And then we've got what we call the grinder. So we've got the big inflatable walls in there. And then these are the, the mincing panels before you go in. Uh, so yeah, I made these before I made that mincer as well. So yeah, it was just it just adds a nice little bit of theme into the area. And then obviously they get there's some actors out here, they get forced through there, and it's all very spooky and scary. So if we go up the spy or spy or the golden staircase, not that you can see a lot, but so the guests come through here. This is all very dark and spooky and smoky. So we've got the mannequins on the wall. Then obviously we've got an actor that stood in here um, pretending to be like a mannequin fitting in and then sort of like the bang, jump out, jump scare, which is really cool. So we've got a little actor cut through there where they can get from this scene to the next one, which is, so they come around here, there's a bit of actor interaction through here. A bit spooky, scary. Let me go through here, a bit more spooky, scary. Obviously this is very dark. Another actor cut through just there. 
that the actors can jump basically from one scene to the other while they're walking around here. And then you've got the judge. Now this is really cool, this area. So I was doing it a bit last night actually, because um, I managed to get a bit of free time to put a mask on and go do some scaring. So we moved the mannequins around a bit because what we found was people were coming in here, the judge sits there, the guests come in here, and then they were sitting down. We didn't tell them to sit down. We didn't want them initially to sit down, but they started sitting down in these front chairs. So I was sat, this one or this one? I can't remember which one it was, one of these. So basically I sat here and I was pretending to be a mannequin. So I was completely still and I was waiting until someone come and sat next to me and then I'll just like turn and just put my hand on them and they just freak out. It was brilliant. That's while the judge is doing his thing. Um, yeah, and then I was following people around. So up there is a little maze with the strobe light. Um, yeah, I won't go that way. I want to show you the maze that I made because I'm really proud of it and it's amazing. I spent a lot of time in there last night scaring and people were freaking the hell out and it was fantastic. I loved it. So let's go over there. So on my way to the maze, this is the, like the cooks, the butchers area. So basically the theme is people come here to investigate a murder and um, yeah, it takes a sinister turn. They end up becoming the inmates at like this prison and they get turned into pies. So this is where they're basically preparing the bodies to go into the pies. And it's uh, yeah, lots of creepy things. So yeah, the actors are fantastic. The, the actors do fantastic jobs everywhere here. We've had a really good year. It's been the best year yet. We're at the Sessions House of Horrors in Spalding. Um, but unfortunately, this is the last year it's going to be in this format because basically this is like someone's house. This is Ollie's house and it just takes over the whole house. Like he has to move his family and kids out and it's just, it's too much. We've had, a, you know, it's been a good three years. You know, we've built a lot. But other things will be coming, don't worry. Other things will be coming. It'll just be either something smaller here or a different location. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Good, big things are going to happen, but it will just be probably elsewhere. So this is the maze that I've constructed. Let me take you to the start. So this is the start of the maze. Basically, you've got like some, some inmates and a therapist and patients and stuff out here. So there's like the, the operating bed. And we've got like, so this is where people are going to get split up. So they get split up, they either have to go down the cruel tunnel or they walk around the side here. Now this is full of smoke. And I mean, full to the point where I, I wouldn't be able to see my hand here. It's absolutely, like last night, it was just absolutely jam-packed with smoke. And it was just brilliant. It worked so well. So basically for the walking one, they come down here. Um, and we've got, that's where the cruel tunnel comes out. So the cruel tunnel comes out here. Mind you, can't see a thing. So they come down here, they come up, they come round, and then they're probably going to try and want to go down here, but there'll be an actor in here. They can't, it's dead end. So then they end up going round here. We've got like some strobe lights inside these, which works really well. Got a hanging head there. So we've got the arrows here just to throw people off because this is not the way to go. But there's another little crawl space. And then what we, what the actress has been doing, which has been fantastic, she's been sitting on top of this table. So when they crawl through, she's just been like grabbing their head and it's just, it's, it's perfect. Because then they try and run that way and they're like, oh no, it's a dead end. And then like they're stuck because they're in between the way out and the actress. And it's just, it's just a fun time for everyone. But yeah, then they come back out. So you come around this way. And then, I mean, you can't, you can, you won't be able to see that panel. It's like, it's that smoky. So they'll be coming over here, bumping into walls, you know, doing that. It's just, and then we've got here, basically, they've got like three options. We did have four, but I've had to reconfigure it a bit because basically, I mean, this is fairly sturdy, but it's not, it's not running and throw yourself at proof. So I just rejigged it a bit so it's a bit stronger. Like this is a dead end. But again, when it's this full of smoke, all of these entrances look like they just go on forever. So you don't know, like there's an act. I was stood in here quite a lot and I was like grabbing people as they were walking through, dragging them down here, which is a dead end. Got the smoke machine behind here, which people don't know is. So that's good to get to the smoke machine. And then the way out is along this wall, which again is full of smoke. And then the actors like we follow them down here, really mess them up. And then you come out here 
into the uh, the cook's area. Which again, the actor has developed a really cool thing in here. So basically, this fridge will be open like that. So as people come in, they're naturally just going to walk down here. And then it's like, bang, jump scare. Like, and he's like, no, 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 come this way, come this way, and drags them around there. Takes them outside, round down. There's a bit out there with some with some actors, which is really good. And then they go through the kennels. I'm not going to go through the kennels because, yeah, I just haven't got time because I've got to start getting ready. But basically, this is, yeah, the, fi the final year in this format, which is a little bit sad. It does make me a bit sad, but at the same time, what an experience it's been like to be able to basically come on and be a creative with Ollie and just live out the dream, basically, like just have a venue like this, which is so fitting for Halloween and to be able to basically, you know, help him create a scare maze, which is absolutely insane. And the feedback we've had has been absolutely brilliant. And we've just been getting stronger year on year. This is the second year I've been doing this and I love it. I love it. And that's what I mean when he was like, oh, you know, we need to think about not doing it next year. I was like, you know, I totally get it. I totally understand. Um, but now might be, you know, my time. I'm, I'm, I, I want Ollie to come along with me. Um, but basically look at something else, like look at a different venue, look at a different setup. This is the actor area where everybody gets ready. Yeah, it's all a bit of a tip at the minute, but yeah, you've got your actor access so you can come from one area to the other. It's just, <clears throat> it's just so good. So good. I love it. It's such a, such a fun thing to do. And if anyone's ever considering like, want to be an actor at a, a scare event, just do it. Honestly, it, you don't, you don't have to be good at acting. You just, just like if you're there in a creepy mask, you're going to freak people out. These were really good. These boxes were really effective. So literally, he just had like these big boxes just laying around. He was like, well, what do I do with them? I was like, well, let's just stick them up here, see what happens. So <clears throat> people standing there, they don't... I mean, people know that someone's in there. They do know. But it just the, the screams you get from it is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So we've got like a little feast table going on in here. There's lots of nice smells. Like they've got all the smell pods and stuff, strobe lights. And it's just, ah, oh, it's it's such a good event this year. Like, I mean, it's good every year, but this year we've really, really smashed it. And then that takes you back round to the exit. So yeah, that's a little wander round. Um, I've not showed you everything, kept it quite vague, but because basically I've got to get on and we don't want to make this video too long. I'll just kick the chair. So yeah, I'm going to go around now, set up all the lights, um, get everything else ready that needs to be done. Actors will come in, we'll probably have some more things that they'll want us to do before we open. And then, uh, yeah, start letting the guests in. But it's, uh, yeah, it's so good doing this. I'll be so sad not to do this here next year, but there will be other things. It's got to be, it's got to be. I'm too, I'm too invested in it now. It's just, yeah. So we're going to, um, yeah, go get some lights. I'll record some more stuff later on in the night. I'll try and get like some scare cams and stuff if I can. Um, yeah, I've got some setting up to do. I'll see you all in a bit. So this is the aftermath of the night before. I didn't get any footage because I was just too busy. Um, but yeah, like you can see like this area just gets wrecked. <laughs> like panels get moved around. That's supposed to be over there. Um, that gap is supposed to be probably two, three times the size of that. So, yeah, stuff gets stuff gets abused, but that's fine. That's what we that's what we need. Like, it just shows that people have had a good time. People have been scared enough to sort of run into walls at full speed. So, I don't mind. I don't mind having to fix it every day. I mean, look at that panel. That's like, arr. But uh, yeah, I'll. Uh, about an hour and I'll have this back to how it should be. Might reinforce it a little bit more. Ready for tonight. Looks good. Looks good. But yeah, I mean, like, all that's popped off. This front's completely wrecked. Like that is not supposed to be that thin. It's supposed to be over there somewhere. All that's... <laughs> God. 
<laughs> it was a manic night last night. It really was. But it's good. People have enjoyed themselves. They've had a good time. So that's what it's all about. So yeah, I need to get this repaired. This is what we listen to when we're setting up. We'll come to you. They'll come to you. We don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. So I just want to show you the effect of these cells because they are a key part of this scare maze. But look, look at this. How good does that look? And then the actor, when they're in here, has control of the lights. So they can basically, when they're torturing, just boom, and then boom. It's so good. I'm gonna include a video in this of it because the guy Tristan who does it does such a good job. So effective. <laughs>